yeah today we're gonna do an unboxing of my tiffany's collection so the honey bought me a jewelry box for my birthday because i had just been putting all my pieces back in the boxes that they came in but now that i have this jewelry box to put everything in we're gonna organize it so stay tuned if you want to watch and see all of the different pieces that the honey has bought me over this relationship come on let's get into it so let's start the unboxing with my new tiffany and co jewelry box so the honey presented this to me for my birthday this year and it was more than needed because i had just been dropping all of my pieces back into their original box and putting it into this big shopping bag so not only did the honey get me this jewelry box but he also got a collectible box that i have a choice in using so this jewelry box is the beautiful tiffany blue it is made out of a faux leather material i believe with of course a lock and key so I just wanna take a second to point out this dress that I have on. It is not a look. It is my go-to house dress that is good and comfy and worn in. So please ignore the lint on the front of this dress. <laughs> so the lock and key is of course available on this box. It's an option I don't necessarily need because I won't be moving this box around and nobody's in my house. The inside is lined with felt, just like a traditional jewelry box, but this tray is removable. And the box came with a brochure that gives you further detail on your jewelry box. Now I decided too, while we were gonna do this unboxing, I would love to share some of me and the honey's love story, which is very fitting because he bought this collection or started buying the collection back in November of 2022 and before y'all start saying that the math ain't math then let me give y'all a little bit of the history so this is a jewelry cleaning kit now I hadn't even opened this because I had another kit that he had also bought that I was using and as I'm unboxing this I realize it's a different product I have a spray solution and this looks to be maybe a heavier cleaner. And inside of the box also comes two tools, a small brush, and then these tweezers, I'm assuming. Not quite sure what I can use them for. However, I guess it's good to have. So our love story starts with my soon to be mother-in-law finding me on TikTok, falling in love with my content and my personality. And so she sends her son my way. And we begin exchanging comments on my lives and in my videos for about a month and a half because this man was watching me to see if what I spoke about was really what I lived. And I am not at all upset with this man betting because I think that's what we all should do. Now, the first piece that I'm going to unbox, let's see. All of it is a mystery to me because I can't remember what I put back in what bag. So, these are a pair of earrings. They are a pair of stud love earrings. I wear these earrings quite frequently. Well, really, I wear all of my earrings because I like a simple jewelry piece for like just a regular day-to-day -day look. And those earrings were great. So the second piece that I am unboxing, let's see what's in here. And y'all see how this dress just picks up all the dirt. I don't even know where that came from, but don't worry. So I forgot all about this piece. This is a pendant for a necklace that says love with the Tiffany blue outline. So after we started conversing through TikTok, we had our first official date, October 6th of 2022. 
and he was a gentleman and has been a gentleman and I'm so glad that we decided to take our relationship offline and that's how I knew it was real he was a hundred percent authentically him and I was able to be a hundred percent authentically me that is a requirement to build a genuine connection we have a lot of people nowadays pretending to be someone that they're not thinking that that is going to attract the opposite sex when in reality you attract someone you're not compatible with i will always encourage people to be their their true selves so you can attract the man or the woman that is made for you so I decided to go ahead and put that first necklace on a pendant. I noticed that these necklaces are very delicate and they maintain better when they're on a pendant so they don't tangle. This pendant is super cute. It is a Tiffany gift box. I really enjoy wearing uh, white gold and the sterling silver on these pendants will go with all of my white gold jewelry as well so it gives me a lot of options now in this bag is a, another necklace and i actually just wore this the other day it is a heart key necklace which i think is so cute it is perfect for every day i can dress it up or dress it down if i like now I almost lost those earrings cause clearly I did not close that bag, but these are the earrings that match the pendant with the matching blue heart inlay, super cute. So we started sharing a lot of our love story on TikTok to encourage women to keep up hope and encourage men to be the gentlemen that they are. Social media will have you thinking that everybody is a simp and that is not the case. Real women deserve to be spoiled. Now this is a super cute Tiffany shopping bag. I think I'm going to put this on a bracelet, but I can also wear it on a necklace too, of course. Now in this bag, we have a necklace with a double pendant. And I'm going to take a second to put it to the side so I can put the pendant on it later. Now, as my honey and I are getting to know each other, I noticed that for Christmas, I would get a couple of pieces of Tiffany. For Valentine's Day, I got a couple of pieces. For our six month anniversary, I got a couple of pieces and then for my birthday I got a whole bunch of pieces because he had pre-ordered a lot of jewelry for me when we first started dating and he said that it was because he was willing to make an investment in the woman that he has found to be his wife and I know it sounds crazy how can you know somebody is your husband or your wife that quickly? But I'm telling you, when you are honest and genuine and you are dating with intention, it is very, very easy to make a genuine connection. Also, let's not forget that you should always be praying for what you need and not what you want. So I prayed for this man not him directly because I didn't know him but I prayed that God send me what I needed and there was some private prayers that I kept between me and God and when I would ask God for clarity Lord tell me is this him send me a sign make it plain make it clear let me know this man would repeat my prayer verbatim and I know there's no way he would have known that. Now, I forgot all about this peak pendant that has the Tiffany Co. on the back. So this is my first pink pendant, which means I need to tell the honey I need some pink earrings to match it. Christmas is not too far. He can be prepared. <laughs> 
So this is the very first Tiffany piece of jewelry that I ever owned. It was a bracelet that I bought myself for Christmas, I believe two years ago. And I shared with the honey how much I love their jewelry and how it's such a classic piece or a classic style of jewelry that it can go with anything. You can dress it up, dress it down. So I made sure for my birthday that I got the necklace to match. Now, all of this is prior to meeting the honey. So him seeing what I liked and what I purchased for myself made an easy example for the standard that I required. And he had no problem matching that requirement and that standard. So ladies, just a word of advice. If you wanna be treated well by a man, you have to be treated well by yourself. That doesn't always equate to materialistic things. That equates to the energy that you keep around yourself. That equates to how you love on yourself and how you care for your physical and mental health. You set the tone, you set the standard. And meeting my honey in a very unorthodox way is such a blessing. This jewelry collection is literally just a representation of the love that he shows me every day. And while some may say it's too much too soon, I say he is just showing me what marriage will look like and what the rest of our lives will be like. And regardless if he's investing in jewelry or a house for his family, I know this man is gonna go above and beyond to make sure that I am loved and cared for. What else can you ask for? So thank you for watching my Tiffany jewelry box organizing video, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. I am beyond blessed and spoiled to have a man that knows that I like a nice jewelry set. I like Tiffany's. I love Tiffany's. It's my favorite color. Not only that, I want pieces that as we hopefully have a daughter, I can pass along to her. So for him to be so thoughtful, to think about that when giving me gifts, which is his love language, I'm, I'm really grateful. Thanks for watching y'all. I hope y'all have a great day. Hi guys. Bye guys. We'll see you next time.